Lay 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 back with another video and we finally got a car talk with Lady Lee Lee car talk with Lady Lee Lee on a Friday so yes I'm finally bringing back a car talk you all know if you've been keeping up with my videos I've been doing a 21 day um, financial fast and with that you know not spending money I am also committing to sharing my journey with you um, each day so it's been real unique to try to shoot every single day um, so I've been shooting every day I'm not used to that you know normally I'm bringing a few videos a week and that's it but the fact that I'm shooting every day for 21 days is really interesting so I figured why not mix it up a bit and um, cut in a car talk here um, a lot been going on I missed a lot but a lot has been um, going on so first things first let's get some fun stuff out the way we want to say congratulations to the um, Golden State Warriors lay a week from um, a week ago from today they um, were the two let me see, see this car it was the 2018 uh, NBA world champions they defeated Cleveland in four games so they pretty much swap them sweep them around sweep them around if you know that old school song they swept them as you know um, LeBron James is up for free agency so it's going to be interesting to see where he goes a lot of people just need to sit his little tail in Cleveland and work on rebuilding the team um, yeah so we don't know where he's gonna go but it was like where can he go because you know a lot of teams they got a they're in rebuilding phases right now so you know Golden State you know got a strong chemistry and they're gonna keep their chemistry but um, everybody else got to look to you know really rebuild at this point so um, yeah they gotta look to rebuild so but relations to Golden State they had their um, parade this week um i actually a friend of mine has actually went out there to celebrate it but i know he has a daughter on the west coast as well so he was probably coming to um visit with her um okay i got the stop sign but okay so anyway we're gonna move it on um let me check my notes here and i'm eating oh if you've been watching the has and have nots, you know Jim Cryer is it is a snake in real life because <laughs> the guy who plays Jim Cryer, you know he's a he's mischievous on a has and have not show. He's also mischievous in real life. So apparently he's getting ready to go to jail for um, three days because he has failed to pay alimony to his ex-wife. Interesting. So. He's trying to deny it, but he's getting ready to go to jail um, for three days for failure to, uh, to pay alimony. And uh, Jamie Foxx is in the news. Um, you all may have heard that a woman is pressing charges because apparently um, she said back in 2002, which is 16 years ago, um, she said she alleged that... Um, it's alleged that um, Jamie Foxx had been, um, he asked her to perform oil on him, oil activities, and she refused, and apparently he um, took his male part and slapped her. She said she slapped, um, and he slapped her with his male parts, and um she's finally coming out you know because she's been uh, you know encouraged by the me too movement and you know jamie fox is uh fighting back uh, he has his lawyers pressing charges um he wants to sue um the police department that's found reported doing the claim and pretty much want to know you know if it was done why why are you waiting now you know but that's how it is sometimes he said she's she waited this late because apparently nothing you know nothing happened so 
I don't know. I do not know. But he did come out with a um, did come out with a personal statement about his falls. He's pressing charges. He's gonna put up a suit against her, and yeah. So, um, Andrea Kelly. She is the ex-wife of uh, singer R. Kelly. She was on the show Sister Circle, and she talked about her experience. Um, you know about her. She talked about um. She's she talked about dealing with domestic um domestic issues and abusive behavior in the marriage. Um no, she kept quiet about it, but she too has been, you know, led to, to speak based on the Me Too movement and what's happening with these young girls that they said R. Kelly has been holding hostage. The thing about it is these girls are 18 and up, so they're not underage, so it's not considered, they don't want to be with him, it's not considered, you know, illegal, because they're 18 and up. They're still young and dumb in the brains, but, you know, it's not like he's holding minors hostage. So anyway, going back to Andrea Kelly, she um, states that it was one point in her life that while she was married to R. Kelly that she wanted to commit suicide and she was gonna jump off a building she was gonna jump out no jump out a window and she said something just miraculously happened that she got outside herself and she said she envisioned you know her being dead on the ground and what would happen to her kids and her family and the friends that love and support her and she says at that moment that she re you know recollect herself and, and did not go with it, did not go through with it, of course, you know. And that was just the last straw that led for her to, you know, go ahead and finally um, pursue the divorce, you know. You know, very controlling and, you know. So, you know, Selena Johnson, who was one of the hosts, said she had no idea, you know, what, because, you know, she has worked with R. Kelly, never had an issue, never saw some of this stuff that's being, you know, brought out, but... Yeah, but she said she just really hoped that the young ladies can come across this message and, and go back to their families and get out of that bondage because, you know, so it's pretty much R. Kelly been a sick person, you know, from the jump. We just never knew because, you know, people with money and status can shut people up, you know, pretty much. But I don't even know if R. Kelly really got a lot of money these days. And like I said, who was the last person he really jumped off in the music industry? But God bless her because I, I believe all their kids pretty much are, you know, grown or they might still have one minor um, kid left, you know, but I know most of the kids are grown, so... Let me see what else is going on. Some I did not know. Um, remember I told you the girl who played Tasha from Insecure was pregnant? I did not know that she was pregnant by Dro on Insecure. So apparently they had a little rendezvous, you know, and uh, a baby was born. I believe the baby was born in May last month, which was last month. Um, I did not know that. And they said, well, it came out. You know, a friend of mine said, well, it came out on the shade room, uh, shade room like weeks prior to the birth of the child. But Tasha and Dro got a baby together in real life. I'm like, wow. So it's like they play messy characters on Insecure, and now they, they really messy in real life. Because apparently, Dro poles are, have a girlfriend. Um, and this baby was, you know, conceived. When this girlfriend was in the picture, but you know, Dro talking about we all good, blah 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 blah. But the girl took the social media, she was doing some some hating, um, low key. So, um, because all that stuff got brought to her attention by her family and friends. So, well, congratulations on the baby, Tasha. So, but I'm just thinking, damn, Tasha going through the cast, ain't she? Because you know, there was an article saying she was trying to shoot her shot with uh, Jay Ellis. Who plays Lawrence on Insecure? So I guess Lawrence told you no, you went on to Dro, huh? Mm mm mm. And um, you know, um, there's still speculations out there about whether or not um, Kenya Moore is pregnant. But you know, she's been popping up with a, you know, but just been popping up showing her, you know, with a bump. 
And the thing about it, what people fail to realize, Kenya Moore is in shape. You know, usually women who are in shape, I mean, from what I observe, and this is not what I know, this is just what I observe. You know, usually it takes women a long time to show. My, and my mom said that it takes a long time for women to show, especially with their, you know, first child. Um, it takes them a little long time to show. They don't show right off the bat. And the fact that she's in shape, she's still working out, you know, it takes even, you know, longer, you know. So there's pictures popping up, like you've seen a little bump she had when she was on a treadmill, in which, I guess, pregnant women can be on a treadmill as long as it's a, you know, safe speed. And then she did some type of seminar where she had like a form fitting dress on, and you see a little bump there. So it's probably just taking her more time to show. You know, Kenya wants a child so bad, she wants this family. I really doubt she's really lying or faking this out because this is something that's just been near and dear to her heart for the longest, and she's making it happen at the age of 47. So, congrats. Congratulations to her. Um, Camille Cosby. They, now, yesterday they said Camille Cosby had uh, filed for a divorce. As you know, Bill Cosby is waiting to be sentenced. I think he won't be sentenced until September 24th. And they believe the sentence, um, he's going to go to prison. And they believe it's not going to be the 30 years as people thought it was going to be. It's, uh, I think it's going to be between 5 to 10 years. So he will be going to prison, but they said Camille Cosby had filed for divorce. Now, as I was looking online this morning, now they try and say the accusations are false and Bill Cosby fired his lawyer. So I don't know what's what, because yesterday y'all said she filed for a uh, divorce. Now the, the latest development is saying that's false and they're deni denying divorce reports. And so I don't know. I don't know. Have y'all been watching Love and Hip Hop? Um, Atlanta, what's really going on? I did not know Tokyo, whatever that Tokyo toy, whatever she is. She only 23 years old. I'm like, wow. Um, I don't know. I just thought she would be a little older, but that explains her, you know, childish behavior, you know. And I don't know why, you know, Spice even the gas went back up again. My lord, I don't even know why Spice, um, you know want to argue with the little kid in other words but it's just funny and then you know um who was this carly red it's been you know the messiest of the messies but now all of a sudden you know my dad is sick and i got a lot on my brain but your dad's been sick this whole time so Your dad's been sick this whole time, and you still uh, manage to be messy. So why you want to stop being messy now? Um, and then I still think Kirk and Rashida laying low and uh, doing what they do, because y'all really think they they sleeping in separate rooms. Uh, what else? Uh, Queen Sugar's been good. Queen Sugar's been really good. Half and half nights been interested. I be cracking up, boy. That Veronica, she is a trip, but. I think that's it, y'all. So I'm still on this fast. This is day 13. Good God of Zion. So tomorrow be day 14, and it'd be the conclusion of week two. We got one more week of this to go. But it's been really good, y'all. It's been really good if you're watching my daily um um you know videos. I've been talking about, you know, what the chapter's talking about. I've been talking about um you know, my journey a little bit. So yeah, that's it. That's all. Like, comment, subscribe. Thanks for tuning in.